You are now tuned into CalSoScope. Alright YouTube, we're back with part two of the Jersey Swap tutorial. This one I'm gonna be showing you guys how to place the elements on the jersey. So this will be a fun one and very informative. So the first thing that you're gonna do is find an image. So I found this image of Zach Levine. And what I'm gonna be doing with this Zach Levine image is I'm gonna be taking all the elements. So I'm gonna be taking the stamp, I'm gonna be taking the swoosh, the collar, and the bulls, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be doing from this photo. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna be going for the pencil. I'm gonna just be making sure my selection is really clean, really crisp, and then I'm going to use liquify on John Morant. So start off and make a selection with the pencil of the element. Then I'm gonna right click, make the selection, and duplicate it. So now I'm gonna move it over here. And I'm just gonna get all the elements ready before I do any adjustment. So I'll be back once I cut out all these sleeves. So I have all my elements cut out right now and what I'm gonna be doing is I made them a smart object so you can just right click and create a smart object but what I'm gonna be doing is sizing them down a little bit just so that they relatively match the subject. Prep is done and then once you are done with that you're going to make sure you have your name your layers name because we're just gonna really just match it to the jersey so we're gonna go here click on this and then we're gonna go to click on the neck layer first we'll start with that and then I'm gonna go filter liquify and then you're gonna hit show backdrop you're gonna make sure the backdrop is on for the layer you're gonna use your main John Morant mask all right and then you're gonna bring out the opacity and now all you're gonna do is use the forward warp tool W and you're just gonna make sure that this curves the right way and it's lined up. This is like the simplest way I can say that you can make sure that your jersey looks really crisp and just really realistic. And making it on a smart object is clutch because you can always come back if something looks off. So that's why it's always smart to put it on a smart object. So then you can just go okay. And you see, we didn't add any shading Obviously there would be a little bit of shade on these things, but we didn't add any of that yet. So you're gonna go in and you're gonna do the same thing for the right arm, and you're gonna do the same thing for the left arm. Like I said, no shade yet. And then the last one, I'm gonna fast forward, but we're gonna do the same thing for the left arm. And then the other thing that the Bulls have is like, they have a Nike logo and John Morant has that, but it is a little bit different. And we don't need to do the displacement map yet. We're gonna do the displacement map right after I put the Nike logo on and the add. Cancel this out. Goodbye. Which means we're gonna bring back the gradient map of red. Like so. Selective color on this and blends pretty well. I'm putting it right here and then I'm gonna just distort it a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. And now we're gonna do this Bulls logo, but first we're gonna save a displacement map. So to save a displacement map, you hit Control Alt Shift E. And that's gonna make a new layer from the visible, anything visible. Okay, so then we're gonna hit Control U and we're gonna desaturate this. And then we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're gonna just blur it by one. I'm gonna go File, Save as Copy, actually. And we're gonna go Jaw Displacement, Bulls, Swap. And this is gonna be the displacement map for the swap. And we're gonna have to save it as a PSD, okay? Save it as a PSD. So now we have our displacement map saved, so it will adjust to the wrinkles and everything like that. Once we bring on the element of Zach Levine's Bulls tag, pretty roughly. I might try to keep some detail from his original picture so that it doesn't look like we just pasted it. Kind of a, a low key tip there. Make a smart object and then we're just gonna paste it roughly into place. All right, so now you're gonna go filter, distort, Displace, and we're gonna displace it by like five. We'll just see what it looks like. I think that's a little bit too much. So we'll just go two. And two works. Sometimes you don't even need displacement. 
not gonna lie to you, but in this instance, we'll just rock with it for now. And then we're just gonna get rid of like the outside because I don't think it's gonna work out to look too good. Here we go. There's no shading yet. So we'll add that shading after. Next thing we're gonna do is the number. Okay, so now I have the number 12 from Ao to Sunnu. And we're pretty much gonna follow the same steps. Um, I just need to distort this a little bit. A lot of it is like kind of an eye test. I'll show you something else that you can use. You can use edit perspective warp. And then I'll use this probably on the one. So you just make two selections and you go to warp. And then you can actually just change the the direction of the images to make it work more in perspective. So the next step that I went ahead and started on was getting this trim for the shorts. And I literally just did it in a way that is foolproof. I'm gonna try and get that looped part. So I'm gonna just mask on the outside and then bring this in like this. Just so we get a curve on that short paint. Like slow. Just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing almost exactly for the other side. Could use liquify, but we're good. Do it this way. If you want to use the warp tool in an advanced way, you can use all or option on the Mac to make separate points, and then you can get even deeper into customizing the shape of the object and blend it in. Didn't do any exposure or anything shading it, so do not worry, it is on the way. All right, so that's going to do it for part two of this Jersey Swap tutorial. If you guys enjoyed and learned something, make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, and uh, let me know if you guys are ready for part three. The the final part, we'll, yeah, we'll do the final part as part three. We'll do the shading and then adding all the little tiny accessories that you need to add to your Jersey Swap to make it look super, super cool and fresh it's in castle scope make sure you guys check out the patreon to support me as a creator um, you get all my psds project files all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one been artist athletes stay scoped feel free to subscribe and support the creator on patreon